front row seat to the untold stories as we talk about how to live life on your terms. You're officially part of the inner circle. Welcome to Courtside with Courtney. And don't worry, I comped your ticket. Welcome back to another episode of Courtside with Courtney. Today is a very unique episode. It's going to be short and quick, but I hope impactful. Good morning, everybody. I want to do an episode today all about the mornings and your morning mindset and the way to start your day on a good foot. My hope is that you can download this episode and save it and re-listen to it and it just gets your mind right for the day. There is nothing more important than an early morning routine because the mindset that you begin your day with will bleed and spill into the rest of your day. If you wake up and you feel stressed out in the morning, your day will feel stressful. At least that has been my experience. When I wake up at 5 a.m., my cortisol spiked and I'm stressed out and I'm running around, my day is impacted negatively because of that. On the other hand, when I wake up and I have a good morning and my mindset, mostly this is about your mindset, not your circumstance. Your mindset is right. You can do anything. So let's get our mindsets right in today's episode. We're going to start with acknowledging something that I like to acknowledge every single morning. Maybe this is cheesy, but I swear it works. Today is going to be a great day. Repeat after me. Today is going to be a great day. I'm putting it out there into the universe for me, for you. Today is going to be amazing. Good things are going to happen to me and for me today. And if good things don't happen to me and for me, I will move through them quickly and efficiently. I will handle them and I will grow from them. I will very quickly turn things around and I will flip the script and my mindset will remain positive regardless of what today throws at me. I will control today what I can control and I relinquish control from the things that I cannot control no matter what. Today, I will also think about problems differently. Today, I'm going to think about problems more long-term. Is this going to bother me in an hour from now? Is this going to bother me in a week from now? Is this going to bother me in a year from now? Am I making a problem that's a two-minute problem, a two-year problem in my head? Some things and most things simply aren't that serious. So let go of things, feel the emotion, don't trap it inside of you. Feel the emotion, exhale it out. Don't forget to breathe so frequently. I just forget to breathe. I hold my breath and I realize halfway through the day, I'm like, I haven't even exhaled. So take a minute, breathe in, breathe out. Day is going to be a great day. I want you guys to envision around yourself an energy bubble, okay? My energy bubble, I don't know about you guys, everyone's can be different. Mine is sort of iridescent, like a bubble in the sky. Mine is clear so I can still see what's going on around me, but it's iridescent. It's a little rainbow, it's a little sparkly, it's a little glittery. It's, she's, there. She's still clear, but it's iridescent. It has those reflective colors in it. It is an energy bubble around me. I'm going to blow an energy bubble around myself and I am now protected for the day. So you can have your opinion about me. She can have her opinion about me. He can have his opinion about me, but my energy bubble is around me and it is strong and it doesn't pop. So I am peacefully inside my energy bubble and I will handle things as they come throughout the day. Let things move through you. So feel things, don't trap it inside. Like I said, just breathe it out if you need to. (sighs) Today, I'm not going to get caught in feelings. I'm not going to get overly frustrated by things. It's okay to feel things. You should feel things. Let it frustrate you. Get mad about for a minute and move on. We're going to compartmentalize because today is going to be a good day. We're going to remember to drink our water and stay hydrated because your day can't be good if you're dehydrated. We're not going to let other people energy vampire us today. You are on your own clock. 
You are on your own time. You will respond to things accordingly with the level of importance in which they hold. If it is an urgent work email or a text, you're responding to it. If someone wants to know what time you can go to lunch and you're excited about it, you're responding. If you're not excited about it, you're waiting. You do not owe certain people in certain situations your time and energy, and therefore you will move accordingly. We're going to start our day with gratitude. I really want you guys to think this is going to be specific to you, obviously, and this should change every time you listen to this episode. Think of three new things. What are you grateful for today? What are you grateful for this morning and this moment as you wake up? It can be as simple as today, the sun is shining. I am grateful that I woke up today. Like it doesn't have to be deep and intricate if you're feeling down and bummed out, pissed off, sad, depressed, whatever. It can be small. The things will grow. As you listen to this podcast in the mornings, every morning, or however frequently you want to listen to it, come up with three new things every day. So today, your three things are as follows. Take a minute Think of the three things. You can pause this if you need to. If you can say the three things out loud, I find that to be really helpful. Today, I am so grateful that I got to wake up and spend time with Kinsley this morning. And we had a little time before our day started. Today, I'm grateful that I got to go to Pilates, like whatever, right? Like whatever you're grateful for today, speak it out and acknowledge it. Because when you start your day, from a place of gratitude, that is what you notice throughout the day. There is an old story. I've mentioned this on a podcast before, I believe, but everyone has, picture this, two wolves inside them. Everyone has it. You have the dark, jealous, angry, insecure, whatever, negative wolf. You have the positive, light, encouraging, kind, growing, smart, evolved wolf. If they're both inside of you and they're fighting, which one wins? And the answer is and will always be the one you feed. So wake up this morning, you beautiful bitch, and feed the good wolf. Feed the positive one. Acknowledge the good things. Give gratitude wherever you can. You can wake up and say you're grateful you woke up. It can literally be that simple. I am grateful to feel the water on my face as I wash my face this morning. I am grateful to have a good hair day today. I'm grateful that blank, like I have friendships. I'm grateful, whatever it is. I'm grateful I enjoyed my morning smoothie. I'm grateful I got to have some solo time and journal this morning. I'm grateful to feel loved. I'm grateful to be healthy this morning. If you are healthy every day, acknowledge you are grateful to feel healthy. Tell me, that the first thing you don't think about when you get sick every time is, oh, I didn't acknowledge the times I was healthy. Like, oh, last week I felt so good. I felt strong. I felt healthy. I felt energized. And now I feel crappy today. And I wish I would have appreciated when I was healthy. So appreciate when you're healthy because plenty of people aren't. And learn to appreciate everything in your life, the little things, because they will grow. What you give attention to grows. That could be negative and that can be positive. If you want the positive things in your life to grow, give attention to the positive things. Give gratitude for everything. I quite literally pull into a parking spot and I'm like, yes, I am lucky. I am blessed. I just got such a good parking spot today. Encourage yourself and you will have lucky girl syndrome. Feel lucky. Let this feeling course through your body and just rise throughout the day with you. Those are the feelings you're keeping inside your energy bubble. You are grateful. You are grounded. You are kind. You are smart. You are beautiful. You are interesting. You are always evolving. And today is going to be a great day. Give other people the energy that you want to receive. Someone, if they're being mean to you, shitty to you, they don't get walked all over. Take no shit. However, they could be having a bad day. Give people the grace that you would want if you were having a bad day. Today is going to be a great day. You got this. I love you guys. And I'll see you the next time you play it. Bye.